I'm here in sunny Manaus. The England fans are arriving in their masses. I'm here at a Vauxhall fan hub. Three games of footy today. Let's see what the England fans have got to say about Brazil and the Italy game. Come on, England. How are you enjoying Brazil? It's amazing. It's hot. It's beer, Camara, tubes. Football is fantastic. Oh, it's magnificent. People are great. Everything, the weather. Can't, can't fault it. I'm loving Brazil. I've always wanted to go to Brazil. I've always wanted to go to a World Cup, so I'm really happy. What's the best thing about Brazil you've seen so far? Uh, the, the weather, the girls. Uh, the girls? The, yeah. We've been treated like kings. There's nothing to worry about. We're all very safe and we're all having a thoroughly good time. Everybody's dream is to come to Brazil to watch the World Cup. I made a decision on my own to book this flight, a one-way trip, at 11 o'clock last night, and I'm so excited. Serious? Yep, I had no hotel, I had no ticket, and I'm loving it. Who's England's star player going to be this World Cup? I think Sturridge. Uh, Rooney. Yeah? I think Rooney's going to deliver this time round. Star player is going to be Sterling. I think he's going to shock the world. I'd like to think we would have 11 of them. I don't think it's uh, it can be narrowed down to one. I think morale is high. Uncle Roy's got the troops motivated and we're going to go to battle and come out victorious. Daniel Sturridge. Yeah. Can you do his dance? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's got to go. Yeah, he's got the Daniel Sturridge in the locker. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm more. I'm more. How do you think England are going to do? Hopefully really, really well. I'm quietly confident. This is going to be a dream. This is going to happen. We are so up for it. Say hello. <laughs> Your top man, your Chris Kamara. I'm bloody hot. It's like the Sahara. <laughs> oh, sweaty Betty. Hey! Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> hey! Always in group matches, you want to win the first game. So I think this one is really, really important. So they look up for it and hopefully they can deliver. Higher than a one, higher than one. Higher or lower? Lower! It'd be lower than a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yes! I'm standing with the tubes, but he's not sure about my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Sick lyrics. <laughs> first time I've worked with you. No, it's not, because I work with you on Soccer M all the time. First time I've worked with you away from Sky, and I have to say, you're open. <laughs> Lot, I'm only kidding, you're <laughs> top man. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers mate. England and Italy, it's a big game isn't it? It's a massive game, you know, the old cliche has come out, don't it? You know, so important and all that sort of stuff. Would you a bit of luck, that's the one thing you can say, would you a bit of luck. I've been following England around for such a long time now, well since I've been working for Sky. Um, probably the first tournament I went to was the year 2000. Every tournament since then, apart from when we didn't qualify under Stephen Crown. Uh, and the first game has always been disappointing. So at some stage, our look's got to change, and we're going to have a good, good day, you know. And I think tomorrow could be that day. Well, I think Roy should play it. Um, I think go for it. Go for it, basically. I think the one point that he would have taken from the friendly in Miami against Honduras was that if we start slow, we can't recover. So let's go for it. What are your views on Morrissey? What a band. He's been with the Smiths for such a long time. Legends, the whole lot of them. You know, I'd love to meet him. It'd be a pleasure. Someday, Neil, it'd be great to meet you. Well, Leighton Baines did meet him, and this is what he had to say about him. You um, bumped into a bit of a hero of your own. Uh, Morrissey was staying at the hotel. What, what did he have to say for himself? Yeah, he was in the bar. I, was, I weren't too sure at first whether to, to say hello or not, and then I think someone kind of suggested that he'd be OK with it. So just, just a quick hello and... Um, you know, he wished us good luck and that, there wasn't much more to it. <laughs> right, you're the gaffer now, you're Roy Hodgson. Okay. Look down the lens, you've got six seconds, pre match against uh, Italy. Give it to your team talk. Go. Right, team talk straight away. We've just got to beat them 2 0. The team talk will start with Rooney's got to play. That's six. Lads, get out there, forget everything, have a jolly good time and win it for us. Think about the fans who have come out, do everything you can in your power to win the game, take Pirlo out the game. Oh, it's good. Go. You believe you're the best team in the world, go out and prove it. Four seconds. <laughs> nice one. Get some ice down you. It's hot, so get some ice down you. Run, shoot, Six, score. That's it. We're going to contain them for the 10 or 15 minutes, and then we're going to let the kids run wild, and hopefully we'll play the kids, and the kids are going to, you know, the kids are going to win it for us. Be bold. Be bold. Go for it. Go for it, big style. This is your one opportunity. Let's have it. You know what this means to the people back home. You know what this means to the people who are in Brazil. You have got to do it for them and yourselves. It's a 
Come on, England! Come on, England! Boys, you've got, you've got. That's a winner. Just Sterling, just Sterling, just, 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 just give it Sterling. You've run out of six just seconds. Give it Sterling. Yeah. Give it Sterling. Come back for some more of this tomorrow. Come on, England.